Hello folks and welcome to Fjordal. This is by Otis9. It is 149.41 megabytes to download and this is a fictional map based on Western Norway and there is one required mod and that is the Buildings of Norway by Ola Hordor. And yeah, the reason for that, as said in the description, is because of the buildings you see around the map and that, as you can see as we go around, it is part of the buildings of Norway Pack, and yep. First of all, let's go over the description, shall we? So, the map has been built with the idea of having a great view from the main farm on top of the map. This includes some interesting and a little bit unrealistic elements such as an island with both two bridges and a ferry. He's also played around with making the train to go over the two bridges, through the chocolate factory and even to a drivable tunnel in the mountains. So we'll have a look at that. Because that is where a cell point is, or the cell point. And yeah, so he says it makes the map unique. To get to the ferry you need the ferry pack, which is a PC only mod. This means console players, as we're going through this at the moment, means... We need to use the bridges, which is fair enough because there are driveway throughs on the bridges and that. This map has got steep fields where, just like Western Norway, this means you need powerful vehicles to work the land and small machines to fit the road. I have made one field extremely steep, such as a ski hill, so you can really push your tractors to. This is the second map so far, I have not created any objects himself. He's used basically buildings and prefabricated stuff. This includes the Buildings of Norway mods, which I've already mentioned about. That's because, uh, yeah, the Norwegian buildings come from this mod, fair enough. The Bible plot has been priced to suit the value of both the land and the function of the buildings that comes with it. Since most of the buildings are sellable, the sell price that you can get is higher than what you paid for land. Unfortunately, to use the BGA, you need to buy it. If you want to use the bunker size, you need to buy the land plot as well. And on the map you'll find as following a main road, small public roads and farm tracks, fjords and rivers where you can fill your war tankers, several farms with fields and animal pastures, 62 bible plots of land, 88 fields with missions that have different sizes and shapes both arable and grass, several forest areas with an open plot of land, which is number 62 where you can create your own area. So we'll have a look at that. More until some points that takes different products, Train which could be used to sell goods now, so for the tunnel on that, we'll have a look at the train tour on that. Several placeable production points, a BJ bunk silo, small sawmill area with water pond. There are a hundred collectible cheese wedges around the map. Two view towers to locate in some good spots. And yeah, so along with the builds of Norway, which is a required mod, there are two additional mods obviously that is recommended. So that is the fair pack by or oh, sorry, fair pack for TCBO MCE and the more animal hunting way. So, yeah, 149 megabytes to download. Slot count is 1502. Ignore it's gone up to 1511. That's just because I purchased a pickup so we can go around the map. That's all I've done is put money in so we can buy plots of land and a pickup. So, slot count on not just the farmer but also start from scratch and farm manager is 1502. That's because on all three modes, you still have all the equipment. You get rid of all the equipment, slot count does go down to 1,354. And yeah, so farms I've looked at so far is plot 7, 30, 60, and 61. So yep, yeah, let's go over the PD, shall we? So, on new farm mode, you start with plot 25, which is an additional farm. And as I mentioned, there are plots 70... Not, sorry, 60, 61, so... Got a farm here, farm here, plot 30 is also a farm area with fields and that, and plot 7 which is just over here. And as you can see we've got an island, these yellow bits are the main roads, the reddish brownish bits are the train tracks, so this is going to be your drive through wall tunnel just over here and that, which for the most part is good now, I do have some criticism of it and this is going to affect the final score I'm going to give this map at the end of the map tour so stay tuned for the overall summary of it because it is certainly a interesting map I see the trains going around it is a diesel locomotive so anyway so yeah plot 25 we start off with so we've got fields 68, 69, 72, 71 and 70 as mentioned there is a plot 62 behind us so if we go into build mode set plot and yeah 
there are several flattish areas, so either with a landscape and or just with some creativeness, you can create your own farm or even heck it, create some fields now or one big mega field. As I know, I do love my mega fields myself, so but yeah, just look at that, just viewing that. Obviously, if you look around the map boundary now, this is pretty much you see on a lot of maps we've been seeing lately. It's kind of Alpine, Alpine region maps kind of thing. Obviously, this is a Fjordish Norwegian map, but still, it's the same of where it's using the base game boundaries set by, I think it's on the Alp, French Alpine map, um, Erlingrat, whatever it is called. But anyways, back into the PDA. So yeah, plot prices are quite up there a little bit for some. But they do come with fields. You can purchase individual lands with some fields. You're looking at about 100 grand. You can purchase this buildable area over here for 440 grand. That's going to be your buy guess plant, so if you want to use that. But yeah, plots of land, so if I'm going to purchase 60. Now it's one plot with horses and cows, I think. 61, so you've got sheep and chickens. Plot 30. We've got your house and your cows. And then lastly, plot 7. So yeah, with this one you'll have your... So, so yeah, different farms offers different stuff and, uh, and you, yeah, pretty much a lot of errors can be purchased in that. So you can purchase little errors over here in that. Fortunately you can't purchase the periphery of the map. Does slightly annoy me to be fair now because I do love where you can purchase the boundaries and to pretty much just own everything on the map in that. So I think what I'm going to do is have a tour of the main, main farm and then from there what I'm going to do is Set across, visit all of the farms in that, and then yeah, we'll loop around, go to the other two farms, go through the town, head up here, and then we'll finish going across to the island where you've got your Freera chocolate factory. So, Ozzy, here we are on new farm mode, so you can remove these buildings if you wish. So, you've got a doghouse over here, and you head up here in that. Unfortunately, can't use that. And actually, if I help by turning on our infant markers and that, so yeah, sleep trigger that is over here. And that is, as far as I can see, no wardrobe or anything like that. And yeah, if you go into your building mode and that, there are no buildings or anything like that. No custom productions. And the pens, all parts of the buildings of Norway stuff. Same with decorations and that, or just base game stuff and that. So, in terms with landscaping, so we'll go to painting, just fields there to our left and right. Here, we're going to find your starting equipment. So, starting equipment is as following for small tractors, you've got the Case Maxim CVX 115, medium tractors, you've got the Valtra T255 Active, along with your John Deere 7810. Harvesters, you got the Rorschach Nova 330, along with the Powerstreet 500 header, and no header trader. For traders, you got the Crampy High Half Pipe HP20. Subsoils, and now you got the Converted DTX 300 AR. Cedar, you got the Nordstein HK25 NS3030. For your first spread, you got the Amazon ZSTS3200. Got a Farm Tech, Surrey Tank, Mower. Basic windrower, forge wagon, and that. Then you got your front loader with your pilot fork and your universe bucket. And then lastly, you do have some hefty weights. So, yeah, that's where your equipment is stored. Now, if you head across, so you, yeah, got your cow barn over here. Obviously, if you're familiar with this pack, you'll know pretty much a lot of things about it in that. So, that's going to be your output now. There we go, entrance is over here for your feed and that. And yeah, hop through the gate over here, so that gives us access to the fields. And yeah, just looking for the entrance. Oh, juice wedges. So yeah, got 100 of these and these are worth 10,000 each. 
also from what I've noticed that again, this is me being just constructive criticism, so the building pack as you can see, the triggers now just seem to be a bit high now, obviously it's still reachable from the ground in that, but I'm thinking that's, that, that should be the foundation of the building and red is what we should be seeing. So yeah, landscaping is a bit iffy in that. And yeah, it can access the buildings or anything like that, so... Let's go and purchase some cows, so... Yeah, you got your 60 cows in that. And I can't find a way to get in. I've got help menu building open up here. No, you don't want to... Use that. So yeah, there's no way to enter the building to see your cows. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's just a part of the buildings of Nori Pack. But yeah, feed trigger and that is over here. Output for your Surrey and your milk respectively. But yeah, I'm not too sure on that, so do apologize on that. But yeah, as you can see, we got some steep, steep hills and that, so yeah, powerful equipment is gonna be required. But yeah, anyways. Let's hop into our pickup here, so, so yeah, so my impressions had to be there to make to the audio sec, so, yeah, I'm just going to go across, well, yeah, I said we're going down south, look at the other farms and that, and, yeah, as I said in the mod description of this map, this is a map where maybe there ain't many tons of fields in that, but there is opportunities to create fields if you wish. Obviously, it's taking inspirations from other maps and that, and other styles and all that, but overall, you can pretty much farm and do anything you want on this map. Yeah, there are some production buildings, but anywhere you're doing this, you can have a nice view of the lake, of the pond, or just the river itself in general. So you head back up. Ah, uh, yeah, so you've got your other plot here. So yeah, you've got a building over here now, storage in that, like so, then you get over here, got your cow barn, and yeah, so once again, I have to help me open up, because, again, I'm not familiar with the buildings of Norway Pack, not sure if I've done a mod review on it, but, so yeah, you got your cows in that, but, yeah, again, I'm not sure, again, it's the whole immersion of having cows that you see your cows. Which I think why is, as part of one they recommend, well, can't really see your cows in that, so... Yeah, so that's just a decorative item there. Workshop. Oh no, sorry, wardrobe. And seat trigger in that, so... That spanner looks like the workshop icon there, so apologies there. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's simple now, and for me, to be honest, if I'm playing on this map, I would put my own buildings in, so own animal husbandries and that. Again, I'm not sort of down playing the map itself, it's just the part of you playing on the map and that sometimes is you have a bit of immersion in that, like a map should let you just have that immersion in that, and... Yep, yeah, as you go around, there are little spots here and there where the immersion is broken, but still, the roads now are beautiful. That's nicely well done, to be fair, that. Got your farm tracks and all that. And as I mentioned, you can farm with a beautiful view, so. You know what I should not do? Can we cut across this? Is that hill there as part of the map boundary, or what? I should also, there are fences, so... Plan of skipping around is perhaps out of the question, that. But yeah, to be fair, the landscaping done by the map maker. Do you have to say it's... Like, for these parts here, that, we're going for the... I'd say he's done a very decent job of it, to be fair, that. To be fair... So yeah, we're approaching the town. But what I'm going to do is take this farm track here. See, I'm not going to go through the town, I'm going to sort of go around. Or is it just all 
fenced off now to access this road over here, Nat. No, but I think we can escape through here, Nat, so let's do a hop, a little hoppity tickety boo, Nat. And yep, back down onto the road. And yeah, are these fences removable? Thank hell for that, at least. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be one thing that annoys me when you get fences now that you can't remove. It's just like, why put it there in the first place if you don't have half the ability to remove it? So, once again, more buildings. So, yeah, there's also a, another farm on plot 58. As I was, yeah, going across the full. Yeah, these buildings look very familiar in that. So, yeah, once again, seat triggers and that. Then you go to cow barn, so that's going to be your feed input over here. But yeah, I'm guessing this is a function of the mod itself, like of the buildings pack, rather than being a issue involving the map and the mod or net. But still, yeah, just again, that breaking in immersion, I know your cows are in there, but I like to go into the buildings, I like to see our cows. Again, that's just me, that's Again, a personal thing for me in that. Maybe not to everyone's cup of tea in that. Maybe they just want the cows in that, but they want to look at them in that. Which is, again, fair enough in that. But it is strange to have buildings where you can't see your animals. Or at least have a buildings as a mod in that, but you can't fully enter. So, obviously the reason for that is, obviously the exterior of the building is done. But obviously the interior is non-existent so hence why you have no abilities to enter in that. But yeah, got your horse pens here so we've got your five horses. Also over here we've got your Surrey pin that so that is this farm looked at. Now let's head out of here. Go back onto the road. Cross this lovely bridge, yeah and to be fair I didn't really give it much acknowledgement than that, first of all, but yeah, but very well done Bridge, to be fair on that. Yeah, head up here on that, this is going to be your fourth farm I think we are looking at at the moment, so yeah, again, there's plenty of farms on the map, so if you're playing on like, multiplayer on that, yeah, if you're playing on multiplayer, you do have opportunities at least to have multiple farms to work from. So yeah, it's going to be sheep in that. 200 sheep. But yeah, I'll go and purchase some sheep in that. But I'm assuming it's still going to be the same. Any sheep to be seen? I know, right, to be fair, now there are sheep in the field at least. <laughs> that's one animal we get to see, but... I'm assuming that's the chicken coop over there, which it is. So, 30 chickens. Yeah, not too bad. Again, base game stuff, I know, but again, I still appreciate how things are done, how things are implemented in that. And I think that was that bell and pad storage I just looked at. Looks like it, but no. Actually, yeah, so it's building used from the bell and pad storage and that, but. Oh. Jeez, thank you. But yeah, it's just got a little workshop in that. No workshop trigger in that, but again, you get like, the toolbox ball, buy shorts and ball in that, so... Again, there's plenty of opportunities for that. But yeah, so, go on exploring here. Now, let's go through the town. So, alright, before we head into the town directly on itself and now we're gonna to head to both the Riverview Spinnery or River Spinnery and the Hotel Fjords and that so yeah I think the track for it was just up there which I've missed so once again I'm gonna do it is just cheekily yeah rid really of some of these fences and that again this will help with sock count that so if you want to get rid of the sock counts and that then yeah just get rid of some of these fences and that but so yeah, first of all, we'll head to the spinnery itself. 
our cup, and then yeah, so I think the trigger now is, oh, another cheese wedge. I'm not doing mind if I do, but yeah, I think these are the ones that the trigger now is in here. Oh, another cheese one. <laughs> so yeah, plenty of cheese wedges at least to be found. Or is it one of those where you got to purchase the land, so... No, spinnery's over here, so... Yeah, river spinnery now. Ah, wait a minute. Is it here? Again, no obvious ways of triggering the spinnery net. Nope, no door there. Door doesn't work there. Oh. So, right. I've got no idea. Like, see the hazard mark error over here. This is guessing input on that. But I'm assuming this has just got to be a. Some form of sell point because so uh, going to our prices, go to cotton, and yeah, at the end of the day, this just looks like to be a sell point, nothing more to that, nothing in the actual production spinnery. So, fair enough, just took me a minute here to figure out that. So, we'll hop across now. So, this will lead you to access for field 16 that. While we're not going to be using that field. What we're we'll going to be doing is just go straight across. And yeah, looks like once again, I have to remove some fences. So you can't remove those ones, but you can remove these. And yeah, this will lead you to the Hotel Fjord. And actually, where does the air traffic go? Alright, air traffic just goes around. Another cheese wedge found over there and that. Ah yeah, so that's just a help icon in that. So yeah, go into build modes. But yeah, nicely done in that. I think again it's a prefab building. Not sure if it's from the LP, LP map itself and that. It looks very familiar in that. But yeah, just a nice little additional feature to the map. Again. Things like that does help with immersion in that, even though at the end of the day, yeah, maybe a non-functional build in terms of usages and that. There's a building never there, so that just brings that little bit of immersion to the map. Which is definitely needed, especially with some of the okay, minor issues now, minor little gripes now I've got personally in that. Things mainly to do with the buildings of Roy mods and that. So so much required mods now, like yeah, my issue with required mods. When it comes to specific kind of maps like this, where it's a themed map, where you don't have the ability to have custom items or creating yourselves in that, so... Which at the end of the day is fair enough in that. But anyway, so... Depends to the store, so... Workshop area, I guess, is just over there. So yeah, this area is just over here. And yeah, this will be your dealership. There we go. And yeah, this also is going to be your spawn point and reset point area, which is over here and that. That's where I got to pick up from. Now as we head out of here, I think what we can do is hop across to the BGA. I think the entrance is on the other side on the main drag. Oh nope. Just over here and that. So yeah, we purchased the land for the BGA and that, so... Which is this plot, plot 42, on top of that. But yeah, so that you can purchase the BGA. And yeah, some silos and that, which, yeah, it's a bit staggering now. I'm not sure if that's supposed to by design or what. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. For me personally, yeah, something like that would have to be like, perfectly straight and side by side, but at the end of the day, that's just me that is. That's how I would design something or play something in that. And yeah, speaking of which, here's a train, or not speaking of which, but there's a train. Basic diesel locomotive. So yeah, we do a little train tour at the end as well. Especially for the tunnel and that, so... 
along the main side drag street here over here, over here now. So, what have we got over here now? So, Bell and Pallet Storage are out. Not too bad, not too shabby. And yeah, this is going to be Slender Production area. So, you've got your carpentry now. 60 grand, base game stuff, obviously that. Got Miller Sawmill. Yeah, basic and that. And you do have a like a similar cell point in the way like for boats and that. So I guess this is meant to be for the ferry and that. So obviously on console and that, yeah, that's not an option. Uh, I like to remain optimistic in that, so from there. Right, so to your right as well, we've got your railway side though. And I think there, there is no access on this side, is there? No, it's all on the other side, so I completely missed that. So, yeah, this is just next to the shop and out we came from. Got your railway side though, so dump and load. Here and there. There, we'll head across. See, so yeah, we've got some more areas over here, so just going to pull the farmer's market. And then over here, we've got your Allen D shipping at, so entrance to that is just here, so that is where we're going to have our spinnery at. So that is your actual spinnery production, not your cell point. On top of that, you got your grain mill, harbour. Bell cell point and um, deep ship. So yeah, purchase your grain mill. And with this grain mill, you can also not just produce your flowers, but also all your oils, sugar. So this acts like your dairy, sugar mill, cereal factory, and all that, all in one, along with your oil mill, on top of the usual stuff. And yeah, actually, that is. I think this is all a little bit slightly hands, is it? Not sure about the oils and that, but sugar looks the same in that. But yeah, certainly six thousand cycles a month. That's certainly being amped up a little bit. I'm sure of it. Actually, I do like that look of the building. That so yes, I know it's using prefabricated assets, but it's being very well put together in that. And yeah, I was looking for a cheese wedge in that. Lights and I thought I was something clipping through in that. But yeah, again, well done in that. Also, yeah, got little pallets here and there in that. Well, not pads, big bags in that, so... Overall, not too bad. But yeah, so your harbour is going to be your sell point. So you can't sell that. Got well, your help icon over here, along with another cheese wedge or two, I think. Or at least one over there. Nothing on the bow. Nope. But yeah, it'd be good to like, have like, something functional on that, so... Which is a bit of a shame, to be honest, that. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You can't really do too much about it, again, with the limitations of the game itself. Yeah, let's go along this little path over here. See, so yeah, as I mentioned, cheese wedge just there to your left. But yeah, just like how well it's being like designed, put together in that. Yeah, it's all for like, yeah, it just wraps up together very well. So, that is the town. So yeah, let's go back across over here. So yeah, head across onto the other side of the town. Got a little parking space over here, and this is going to be a another cell point by the looks of it. So you have a little look. Green mill, uh, yeah, that's going to be a green mill cell point. And yeah, I think this is from Ube Room as well as this. Yeah, very familiar with that. So what happens if you go in here? So you can sink 
that you can sink, but if you do accidentally go into the river and that, at least you can fish yourself out of it, potentially, and that. A little mini cornfields. Once again, remove the fences. So yeah, you've got your bridge over here and our little tunnel and that, sorry. And actually that is well designed to be fair and that. Yes, I know really sickly and that it's just a shed that's been put down and it's been landscaped over and that, but just how it looks now, it does look like a tunnel now with supports and that for the roof and that. Yeah, it may be missing some side wall supports and that to be fair, but for the most part, it's not too bad. So yeah, got your debris crusher there to your left. Fuel station there. And yeah, this is going to be a another production. So this is going to be your bakery. And yeah, that is space game recipes and that. But yeah, like sugar now, as I mentioned. But from there, we're going to move on. So. Let's head up to plot 47. See what I mean? It's going along this way. So, yeah, we'll head up north, have a look around, and, yeah, I think we'll do a little trip over to the island, and then a little train tour. So, right, we're going to start heading up now. So, yeah, just ahead of us, you've got your train tracks and that. But yeah, so plot 47 is just over here. And again, like how it's all nice and divided up, so you can have like one big farm over here if you wish, with access to many, many fields. But also at the same time, you can merge fields if you wish, or just even as bees. So head up here, so you're going to have your bees and that just along over here. Yeah, I think somewhere up there to your left. Then yeah, buildings again in that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these are non enterable in that. Oh no, this one is. Yeah, a little heat off storage area in that. Again, some of a little look, so. Yeah, feed input is over here in that. Dollar box, sorry, and all that. Yep, yeah, so got your house there to your right. And you got bees and that, I think, are over here. So there we go, got your beehives and that, and already in the short time we've been on, yeah, it produces a little bit of honey and that. Yeah, it may not be much in that, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's a little something. And again, there are mods and that that let you help with all that said and done. Let's head over to the bridge. And yeah, before I forget to mention, yep, yeah, there is another farm in that over here that includes the sheep barn. So the dollar box is just over here. Yep, yeah, 200 sheep that I can handle. Then yeah, just over here, got your house in that. But anyways, as I mentioned, we're gonna head out of here. Open the gate. And yeah, let's head down to the bridge. So, again, I'm hoping we can cut across. The obvious answer to that was no, because everything's fenced off. But yeah, so access to the island can be accessed via the bridge or the tr Well, the bridge has a road-ish path and that, and a train. Looks way enough for a car and a tractor and that, so... But yeah. That boundary that, yeah, I'm not too sure, it just looks a bit, not sure, not jarring in that, but just, yeah, it looks a little bit weird, again, that could be just me and that. But anyways, here we're at the chocolate factory in that, so, just drive across over here. So yeah, chocolate factory in that, so you can make your chocolate. Yeah, you got feet input over, or not feet put, input over here, so that can be via the road or the train itself. So you can just, you just drive along. Spawn point now is going to be over here. 
And yeah, just have a little tour of this island. So yeah, we're in the chocolate factory now, we've already looked at. Then yeah, on top of that, I do have access to these little plots of land, these little fields. Again, if you want, you can merge these all together in that. So yeah, this is meant to be the harbour in that, but obviously we didn't have the ferries mods. Again, another cheese wedge in that, but... Yeah, so overall, it's not too bad for a little island. For me personally, get rid of all the fences and that, and just create one. So... But yeah, overall, not too shabby. No triggering that for the train, from the looks of it, so... I think, yeah, that is the island looked at. We've covered almost everything. But yeah, let's go and rent the train. Have a little train tour on that, and then, yep. Let's wrap everything up. So, right, we've got the train now, and, yep. This is a nice little cracker here. And I think that is going to be the thumbnail for the map and that. Absolute stunning beauty scenery in that, at least in that. But, yep, yeah, head over to the train now. So, you've got your one bridge here on the south of the island. Yeah, I just like how this goes straight through now. That's, again, not many things you see now that you know. Trains going through buildings or having areas that is linked to the train system make trains are useful in that. But anyways, heading across. And then, yeah, this is going to lead us to the mountains. Of which, yeah, it's going to lead us to the underground, which... On its own, it's a nice little bit of immersion, but also does also break immersion as well once you've looked at it again. It's not me being a party pooper or anything like that, it's just saying the facts as it is, so I'm going to go uphill. But thankfully we're at full momentum, so we don't really lose too much speed. But yeah, this is going to be the tunnel section, so let's have a look as we drive through now, because... I am interested in this. I like I like the idea of it. I like the concept of it. So yeah, through the underground, the okay, cave landscape is a bit there. Done well enough, Nat. As you look at it as it is, Nat. So yeah, you got a train stop point over here, Nat, as well. And I may have oversped a bit, but yeah, eventually I'll stop in that, but. <laughs> So yeah, got a rain train out, got a help point over here as well. So yeah, we can unload and sell stuff. So yeah, overall it's not too bad that. And is there any perks of selling via the train that? So if we look at our prices and that. So yeah, contracts and that, we've got plenty of. But yeah, prices, so... Nothing is really sticking out, but yeah, that's milk, soybeans, train tunnel and that, yep. Yeah, There's no real peak high demand prices in that. So yeah, I've turned on the train once more, so... Yeah, when I say about the whole immersion being breaking, so... This is what the train system looks like from the outside, so... If that was covered up in that, that'd be even better than that. You know, place your assets down in that weather, and then just cover it all up. But I'm sure the reason for that is because that would just go over everything like you see here and that, so... I get it, why it's done that. Because I think I get how it works in that, but... Again, that's a limitation to the game itself, rather than being a map maker's or modder's choice in that. That, the sun view scenery and that. As you know, go around the hills and that. So, yeah. Overall, final summary of the map and that. So, overall, out of five, I'm going to have to give this map a... It's going to be hard. A bit harsh than that. It's, it's, I'll say a 3.25 out of five. Because, yeah, I'm debating between three and three and a half and that. So, let's just say 3.25. And yeah, the reason for that is, as we can just go down here and speed up, is just because of the buildings, like the buildings of the Normandy pack and that. 
You know, not have the ability to enter buildings and that, it's just... It breaks the immersion ever so slightly in the way that, to be fair and that. At least that's to me. I think they, I could be wrong that. Other people may like it, other people may also agree and... Not so much hate it, but just slightly dislike it that, compared to what could have been that. But in a way, I get it now at the end of the day, because this is a Norwegian solid map. Especially the landscaping itself, you can tell by the fjords and that, the hills and that. It does have that Norwegian aspect to it and that, so I do get that. But yeah, overall 3.25, 3.5 I'll say. Somewhere in that region that, yeah, it's just... At the end of the day, it's not a top notch banger of a map, but it is a nice little neat cracker of a map. So yeah, I think, to be honest, that's where I'm going to leave it today. So we've covered everything that. But yeah, at the end of the day, this is a nice map and that, again, it's down to your report if something is cheap or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel yet, please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.